turning it what it's recording on. Okay, welcome to the Awakening 141. And I'm really grateful to be here in a different space and to yesterday. Um, but that's what I want to talk to you about is how the hell did I come out of that? <laughs> um, <clears throat> you know what? I'm not sure. Um, but I think the, um, I'm going to try and figure it out, okay? I'm going to try and figure out what I think helped me to come out of the space I was in, uh, the total depression, the total um, like giving up, really, really wanting to give up and like I've had enough. And I'm going to go back to the therapeutic community because I think every time, um, that's why I think it's always a starting point. You've got to go back to the therapeutic community. And so that's where I'm going to go back. Um, okay. Okay. So if you've seen the film, How to Stay Sane in the Crazy World, you notice the first tool of recovery is validation. The most important one, and I'm going to stand by that forever, because that's how the therapeutic community worked with the bell and validation. And so the part of you that's going through hell, part of you that's really unhappy, um, but the part of you that is going through this experience of not wanting to be here anymore, that isn't coping, that doesn't know what to do. And it's just a part, right? We are a combination of identities, of personalities, of people that we know, of beliefs, of values. That's all we are. We're, that's what we are, the mixture of all these different identities. That's not the real us. The real us cannot be heard. That's the spirit, that's the soul, whatever you call it. The, be, the being it just needs to be. But everything else is a combination of all these identities. And so what I think, the reason the therapeutic community works is because all these identities come up. It's a mini ascension. When you go to the therapeutic community, you start ascending, you start waking up. And so all your personalities, all your identities come to the surface. And that's what the ascension is. And that's what we're going through. And that's what I think happened to me yesterday. I was going through an experience where an identity full of fear, um, full of fear, it was a huge amount of fear and panic and shock and um, we'd experienced huge loneliness as a child I presume in air raid shelters and um, a lot of unhappiness came to the surface and needed to be expressed and because it is Ascension TV and I'm a teacher it needed to be expressed on here as well as to ask for the support okay there's nothing wrong with that. It's me ringing my validation bell saying help, yeah? It's me saying, okay, I'm not coping and I need your help. There's nothing wrong with that. And as my journey doesn't include medication, I have to find a way to get past. And so validation to me is always the number one tool. From the minute you go into the therapeutic community, you get the bell. And the bell is your number one tool. And I don't care what anybody says. If you validate yourself, that part of yourself, and you love it, and you give it a chance to express itself in whichever way it needs to express itself. In this case, it was primal screaming. It just needed to scream and scream and scream, but it needed validation of someone listening to it. That person that I felt had hurt me. And so it got that person just listened and validated that part of me. 
and I don't know. And then someone else rang up and spoke to me, but it was like once I got past that, that part of me and the identity that is a singer that couldn't sing, it's an identity. That's all it is, a personality, an identity, call it what you want. Every experience I go through, I learn from and then I teach. And when I watched Lauren and I loved her and I gave her the opportunity to express whatever it was that needed to be expressed, then I could move, she could move on and do this incredible concert in the evening from a different, completely different point of view and perspective uh, because she was in a different space. So all I'm saying to you is you need to love and honor every little part of you, every identity that you have, honor it, give it a chance to talk, to validate the side part therapy. And you will see that when you start to do that, you will come out of your panic attacks. Your, you know, as I say, you saw me, I, I was right down there. I'd had enough, I wanted out. The panic and the fear and the anger, it was all there. It was all there. I didn't want to go on anymore. I didn't want to be here anymore. And I said it. But the minute, so you give yourself a chance to recognize. And then I watched it a few times and I felt, well done, Lauren, for doing that. Well done for having the courage. But that's what I am. I'm a teacher. And this is Ascension TV. And so everything has to go on here in order to move on, in order for you to learn that when you are in a situation like that, you can move on. You're getting it all for free, everything for free. To use, please use these tools. They're all in here and simply amazing in the book. Well, Casey asked me and I talk about the validation bell. The validation bell is the most important thing in the therapeutic community. And that's what heals. It opens the first door to healing. And once you get to grips with the validation bell, you can move on. And that's why I felt completely different after I'd done the primal screaming. And someone said to me, you're right. You have no right to be treated like this. So that part of me was validated. You're not nothing, Lauren. You have a right. You have rights. And you were treated like shit. You were treated pretty badly here. And it was too much for you. And that's okay. We validated it. And then um, some friends called me and we talked. And, and it was like options were opening up and ideas. And that part of Lauren felt loved. And that's all I'm saying. There is no harm in that. If, because it's better than taking medication and numbing me down. Anything is better than taking medication, numbing me down, becoming a slave to that lot. And that's the truth. And it's the truth for a lot of you. But it's up to you whether you do it or not. You know, I'm not choosing your journey. I'm telling you it works. Look at me today. And you saw me in the evening. I am not bipolar. I have traits. But I came out of it. And what is bipolar? Is bipolar just an identity that can't be expressed? Well, let it be expressed and see what happens. I have a friend who had bipolar diagnosis and she used the Course of Miracles and healed herself, gave up smoking and everything through a Course of Miracles, through examining the difference between the mind of love and the mind of the ego that runs amok. Well, let it. And if you're in a really difficult space, don't come out of it. Just say to people, I'm in this space. Please leave me alone today. I need space to come through it. And believe me, I didn't know if I was going to come through that. Another clue. But I did. I came through it. And as I say, I'm very lucky. There's no neighbors here. This at the moment, that served me because the screaming was so bad, was so good. That was screaming. I'm punching things. I'm just literally hitting out. And it's so important to get that aggression and everything out of you. Everything that you need to get out of you, it's important to do it. And that's why I was able to move on. And so that's what I'm saying to you. This is lesson 140. And this lesson, or 141, 
this lesson is saying to you, if I can do it, you can do it. And if you can't, then come to me and I'll help you. And it doesn't involve drugs and numbing you down. And don't get me wrong, you can always take a little bit just to calm yourself down a little bit, but it's not the answer. You have to give that part of you a chance to express itself. And that part of me that was so scared that it had lost its voice. And remember, it's had a voice from the age of 13, couldn't function. And interesting, when I did the primer screen, guess what happened? The voice came back. It was a blockage because things were so stuck inside me. It's not magic, it's common sense, and it should be taught everywhere, and it should be taught before they give you all this stuff to numb you down, right? So come back to yourself, learn your identities, get to learn them, get to love them. So yesterday we had Lauren, the lonely Lauren, the part of Lauren that sat on the steps in the school where she had no friends, where she didn't speak the language, where she was thrown into wars and really miserable and unhappy. And mom and dad were never there. Hmm? You had the, the identity of Lauren that sang from at the age of 13 and thought, oh my God, I can't sing anymore. A huge amount of, I'm not ready to give the voice up and felt like Maria Callas and thought I may as well leave now because I've got nothing. You had the fear coming from what's going on with Martin, remember? And then as soon as Martin explained that he's okay, then of course that was able to settle a bit. All these parts of Lauren, all these parts of me, not Lauren, Lauren's just a part of me. All these identities. And the minute you get that, you are able to validate. You get your bell out and you say, help. There's a part of me here and it doesn't know what to do. It can't function. It doesn't want to be here anymore. The pain is too strong, yada, yada. But it's just a part of me. Now, I didn't know that yesterday. I thought it was me. Because sometimes when you're in it, you don't actually know that this is just an identity, a part of you. But then now, when this happens, I can remember this lesson. I can remember the amazing singing session I did last night. I can remember uh, a completely different uh, Lauren who got back to work and structured and, and did what she needed to do, regardless of the circumstances hadn't changed. But something inside of me had changed because I had that validation. And I will always stand up for validation. I don't care what anybody says. You have to have empathy for your fellow man and yourself. And if anyone is teaching you not to do that, you're not going to be able to move out of it. If you're going to be cold and disconnect, I've had this big discussion with someone, I'm not going to name names, but someone who I feel can be very misleading and cold and has no empathy. This, this person, this woman, and she does a lot of work and it might work for her, but I don't think it is. She's not very happy. Um, but the therapeutic community to me is gold dust and everything that I learned in the therapeutic community, I use now because we are in a therapeutic community on a very large scale now. We're going through hell in lots of different, on different levels of vibrations. And to me, you validate your fellow man and validate yourself, but validate yourself first. You validate yourself. You have a right. No one validated you ever. You say, I'm here now and I'm angry or I'm scared or my, this identity one of my identities, and God knows how many, you've all got millions of them. You've all walking around with complex needs disorder. Every single one of you. So don't look down anyone who's been diagnosed with BPD. All right? You've all got it. You've all got it. Every single one of you. Some of you have got more, some have less. That's why I did the show, How to Stay Sane in the Crazy World, because I explain it in there. You're not special. You're not mentally ill. You're shocked. And the more shocks you have, the more identities you have. Okay? So get to know them and use them. I can use them in acting and singing, whatever. Use them with your art, your creativity. That's what the film, I have to stay saying, the crazy world is all about. 
it's gold dust. It's everything I learned in the therapeutic community. You get everything for free, half an hour of how to stay sane. How did I come out of this without one touch of medication? You've got to start thinking that Laura knows something here. It's because of what happened in the therapeutic community. It changed my life. It saved my life. And it's all in that book. And one day I'll be able to talk about it everywhere. No one will block me anymore. And so I'm talking here on The Awakening. I show you everything. I have the courage to show you everything. Every identity I will show you. I'm now in teacher mode. But thank God, I'm in a better space because I came through, right? So that's it for today. I just wanted to make that point and I hope it helps you. Uh, people were worried about me and I said to them, look, when I came through it, I said, look, this is ascension. We're purging. And someone said to me, you're purging. And I said, I don't want to be here anymore. And he said, you're purging. And at that moment, I didn't see it, but now I do. You're purging, you're detoxifying. It's like when you get sick, you have a fever, the body clears the fever, and then your body gets well again. And so today I'm balanced and I'm well. I'm drinking water, I've eaten, I've got an interview at three o'clock, and then I've got MOTV talent, uh, sorry, MOTV jukebox, where I bring you all the music. We're a TV station, and it's going to take time for us to grow. I get it. We're not a channel, we're a TV station. There will be a separate channel I'm going to do for tarot. And you'll be able to go on there. It will just be tarot. But this is a TV station. And so there's different types of programs. Different. Every day is different. That's why I did the schedule. But I'm here to pass on to you everything that I learned in the therapeutic community. The therapeutic community is gold dust. I was the luckiest person in the world to be given that gift and I pass it on to you. And I forgot about it yesterday, but it's so entrenched in me now that the validation, I didn't realize that's all I needed. That part of me wanted validation and it could only get it from certain people, which is something I need to work on. But at that moment, that person was the one who had hurt me. And so they needed to hear it. Primal screaming is amazing. Do it. Go around the house if you can. Find a space and scream your heads off and throw things. I've always wanted a rage room when we come back after all this madness is over. Somewhere where people can throw things and scream and get it out of them. And you can start again after that. I love you. Take care. Please contact me, moving on tv one at gmail.com if you want any help with this stuff. I can help you. I do it on a daily basis. Take care now. Love you lots. Namaste. Bye-bye.